Hello there, congratulations. You're about to install your tushy and have the happiest booty ever. And if you're like, ah, what do I do? Don't worry, I got you covered. I'm gonna walk you through every step of the installation. The first thing you need to do is to check what kind of toilet you have. This is the standard two-piece toilet where you can see the steel flexible hose water connection. This is the most common type of toilet and works great with the tushy. You'll have an easy peasy install. This toilet is a skirted toilet that hides the tank's external water connections. If you can access the water connections, great. This will be an easy install. If not, check out our installation video for a skirted toilet. This is a flushometer toilet, and you'll usually find it in a commercial building, but some residential buildings have them as well. At first, you may think Tushy won't fit, but we have a hack to connect the Tushy to the sink's water supply. Make sure your sink is less than 15 feet away from your toilet, and if you do have this type of toilet, go check out our installation video on flushometer toilets for your install. This type of toilet is the French Curve. Unfortunately, some are incompatible with the Tushy. To double check, I'd email fit at hellotushy.com. And if it's not compatible, we suggest using the Tushy in a different bathroom or gifting it. Now let's go over the contents in your Tushy Spa box and a few other items that you may need. You've got your Tushy Spa, steel flexible hose, your mini adapter with a polyurethane tube. You've got your mega adapter and you have your gold inlet cap. And you may also need a towel to wipe up any water mess. And you may also need a towel for your booty and your knees when you're on the ground working on your tushy. And a screwdriver and you may even need a wrench. Now it's time to turn off the water supply to your toilet. Do not skip this step because if you do and you start detaching plumbing, you're gonna get water everywhere and you will flood your bathroom. So to turn off the water, you just look behind your toilet and you find the water connection to the wall. And usually there is a knob that turns the water on and off. And make sure when you're turning to only do quarter turns at a time and to turn consciously because your pipes may have mineral buildup or even rust on them. And if you don't have a knob, you can use pliers to turn off the water. And if you do see something strange, definitely call a plumber or email us a photo at install at hellotushy.com. All right, let's turn it off. And on this one, I just do a quarter turn and the water is actually off. And when you turn it off, you'll hear a distinct sound of the water shutting off. Now to empty your tank, give your toilet a flush and hold down the flusher until you hear the water stop flowing. You can also do a double check by looking inside your toilet. When you see that the water is low or that it's stopped flowing, you're ready to go. Now let's turn off the hot water connection underneath your sink. And always check that the valve isn't hot because sometimes it is and you don't wanna burn yourself. Hi, it's Frozen Carry here to give you a hot tip, literally. When you check if something is hot, make sure to use the back of your hand so you don't burn your fingers. Now back to the scheduled poo programming. This valve is similar to the toilet water connection. Locate your hot water control knob and turn off the valve. When you turn off the water, you'll also hear a very distinct sound of the water shutting off. And to double check that your hot water is off, you can simply turn your knob. Look, it is off. If you have any questions, please email install at hellotushy.com. Now let's take off your toilet seat. So there's several types of toilet seat mounts, and if yours doesn't look like this, definitely go check out our quick release toilet seat video and our metal mounts toilet seat video. Traditional toilet seat mounts either have a plastic screw or a metal screw. For this step, you'll want to use the widest possible screwdriver, and when you're unscrewing, make sure not to strip the plastic, so be careful. And if your screw does have a Phillips head, you can definitely use that type of screwdriver as well. Now to actually undo your toilet seat mount, you'll wanna use both of your hands. So underneath the screw, actually under the toilet, there is a nut that's holding the screw in place. So you wanna take one of your hands, put it underneath the toilet, and using your screwdriver, unscrew it from the top. If you have a skirted toilet, go ahead and remove your toilet seat and make sure to follow the skirted toilet installation for the rest of your install. All right, let's do it. 
flip up your caps. Some toilet seat caps may flip from the front or the back. And if it's stuck, just use a flathead screwdriver or a butter knife to pry it open. Then make sure you put these items where you can find them. And this is a great time to clean your toilet. Now it's time to set up your water connection on your toilet. Grab your brass mega adapter. You may have the plastic mega adapter and those are great too. And the part with the larger piece is facing upwards. And you can see that there's three holes. The hole on the side connects to your tushy, the hole on the bottom connects to your steel flexible hose, and the part on the top connects to your tank. So next, you want to unscrew the connection to your tank with your fingers and there might be some leftover water in there, so you can just clean it up with your towel. Next, grab your mega adapter and screw it onto the hose. With all of these steps, make sure to only use your fingers to tighten because you can over tighten and that will damage your plumbing. All right, that's done. And now you're gonna connect this part to your tank. And this is where you wanna make sure that the part that is connecting to the tushy is facing forward. So make sure it's straight and start connecting to the tank. And remember, use your fingers. Then use a wrench if you need, but use caution. Because you can over tighten. All right, now grab your steel flexible hose that came in your tushy kit. Make sure it's not misthreaded. If your steel hose connection only turns once or twice, then that means you've misthreaded it. So back up and screw it on really straight. And screw this baby on. And you're done. If you do have a skirted toilet and don't have access to your water supply, please check out the skirted toilet installation video and we'll show you how to use a 3 8 adapter. Now let's head back over to the sink and set up your hot water connection. If you have a rigid pipe, no problem. We have a video instructing you on how to change out your rigid pipe for a flexible one. Grab your mini adapter attached to the polyurethane tube. And you can see that there's three openings to your mini adapter as well. One connects to the tushy, one connects to this hose right here, and one connects to your hot water connection. And don't forget, you wanna make sure that the rubber washer is inside the mini adapter. And if it's not there, you will get leaks. Note that your polyurethane tube is only nine feet long, and so your sink must be within nine feet of your toilet. If your sink is further away, you can purchase a longer 15 foot hose on our spare parts page. If your sink connections are not exposed and they're hidden within a cabinet, you have a couple of options. You can either drill a small hole so that you can feed the tube through to reach to your toilet, or you can feed the tube underneath your cabinet doors. You'll grab your wrench and loosen the hot water connection and then use your fingers to undo the rest. If your mini adapter is too small, you may need a half inch T adapter. And you can also get this on our spare parts page on our website. When you're reconnecting the mini adapter to the hot water connection, make sure to use your hands to screw it on and then tighten with the wrench on both the top and bottom connection of the adapter. Now it's time to connect your water connections to your tushy. So grab your tushy and flip it over and you can see that there is a cold water connection and a hot water connection. So you'll grab your steel flexible hose, this is your cold water connection, and you will screw it on with your fingers. And remember, use your fingers to tighten because you can over tighten and that is bad news bears. All right, that is on and now grab your polyurethane tube and simply insert it into the hot water connection. And you can put your other hand on the front side of the console to add, give a little extra pressure to get it right in there. So how does this connection work? 
When you press the tube into the connection, there are barbs that grab onto the tube and seal the connection from the inside. Cool, huh? When you're inserting the tube, insert it all the way until it doesn't budge anymore. To remove it, simply press down the collar and it comes right out. Now, to check that it's in correctly, hold onto the tube and just give it a gentle tug. We're good to go. Woohoo! It's time to put your tushy on the toilet. Set up your adjustable flanges and align with the holes on your toilet bowl. Then grab your toilet seat and set it on top of the toilet. Grab your screws and insert it into the holes that has the best alignment for the toilet seat over the bowl. Then grab the nuts and hold them under the screw under the bowl and make sure the tushy is centered and the toilet seat is tight. Screw on and tighten with the screwdriver to tighten the rest. You may see that your screws are too short and in that case, check out the video on needing longer screws. You can get them on our spare parts page, Amazon or a local hardware store. Always check that your nozzle is not pressed against the bowl and it's lined up in the center of the toilet. If you have a quick release seat or a skirted toilet with top mount, you can also check out those videos. It's time to check for leaks. This is the moment of truth where you turn your water on. So first we're gonna turn our cool water connection on. And then Feel around underneath to see if there's any leaks and no leaks, good to go. Now let's turn on the water connection under the sink. No leaks. You're good to go. If you do end up having leaks, make sure to check the connections and that they're tight enough and make sure that they're not misthreaded and that all of the connections are on straight. And also, if you are experiencing a leak under your sink, make sure that the little rubber washer is inside the mini adapter. Also check that your polyurethane tube is pushed all the way into the warm water connection. And again, if you ever have any questions, please email install at hellotushy.com.